back to the chat. Yes. Okay. Today should be another introduction video. We will see. <laughs> Uh, because I have to do several introduction videos, not for the topics, but for the further evolving nature and further evolving of my kindness, you know. I watched some of the German versions and for me, I am not kind enough, you know because I'm demanding you have to do this and that and so forth. Hmm. I'm not demanding anything. But let's begin. You know, a prerequisite is really good night rest, good nutrition, and your own meditation practice at least please please try out some meditation apps on your smartphone that you basically know what meditation is these are prerequisites you know You don't have to, but there, there are basics, <laughs> you know. So I am assuming that you are on your way for this three main topics. And we are learning body perception getting finer and finer over the decades, really. And we are coming to relaxation. And relaxation is best described by pause a little moment throughout the day, take a breath, exhale very slowly, And ask yourself, am I kind with myself? With those who are around me? With everybody, with everything? And am I aware? And am I relaxed? Because these questions are very good for your own learning on your way and that's another topic we are not learning forms you know that you can tick the form I've learned it next one no the forms are really side topics you know it's more about the body perception and this way to more relaxation mindfulness and kindness and that's a way you know never never finished always on the way to a more happy and healthy life really but we are very slow there's no action in it you know and so that might be not for you. That's normal. But um, if you like it, that might be your way to a really easier life. That's all I can teach, you know. That's what I have found out. That's my way. That's the, the reason to call it Zen Qigong. Zen is a short form of my name, 
There are plenty of Chinese and Japanese meanings of Zen, so it's also a layer of information. And Qigong is more than just what you normally see in these Qigong studios or <laughs> courses. It's all also with sitting, exercises and with, of course, with meditation. And that's all this, all these topics are within our Zen Qigong. Okay, let's begin. We are performing the ordinary beginning session. And maybe really just some Qigong for today, because I need it. <laughs> you know, just a little, little opening of the meridians to get everything flow again. Okay. Another thing, if, if you are really new to this, you need rough body perception. Because you are not used to subtle movements in your body. So, do it a little bit hefty, you know, that you are feeling what you are doing. Or even if you are busy from day to day life, then do the spaghetti arms, you know, the whole body is in involved. But get loose. You know, relaxation is our aim. And while you are coming to your senses, do a little body scan. Are there any stiff regions? Or even pain? If you have pain, stop it. No, we are not going uh, playing over the such things. We are looking closely. Of course, if it's really something for the doctor, go to the doctor. Huh? It's obvious, but I have to say it. But when you know this pain already, you went to the doctor and everything is done so far, and you can go with your awareness to your pain, whatever it is. Try to find a position or a slight movement uh, with the least of pain or the least of tension. Huh? And coming slowly back to this movement where the first tiny bit of pain or strain is occurring. And look closely so that you are getting to know what is causing your pain, what movements. And that's the way to, to release tension and even pain, slight pain. Huh? Because your body is learning how to move in a comfortable, relaxed manner without causing any pain and strain. And that's an, an underlying learning topic for everything. You know, looking to the strain or the, to the tension over and over again, but kind mindful and calm and the, uh, these are involuntary muscles and so forth and you are learning how to deal with it over a long period of time without force without a to-do list nothing that's the reason to to keep this question for yourself, how do I feel now? 
alive. You know? Body perception. That's what we are learning. Then, when you're ready with your first body scan, come to the awakening the chi, inhaling a little remembrance. How does my body feel when my spine is comfortably ex erected? Inhale and exhale. How does it feel to be stable but not stiff? Relaxed, stable. Coming up a little, breathing in, breathing out, release the tension to the ground, and so forth. Whole body is involved. We are performing a little body wave. And this awakening the chi is very good for day to day. Take three to five minutes in the beginning. Fix schedule in the day for you and this awakening the chi. And watch what happens. Inhale what your mind is playing for stories from day to day, how your body is feeling from day to day. And the reward is really the inner smile something to cultivate. Loose shoulders. And the little monkey mind is always w wanting something new, new sensory inputs, new stories, new forms, new something. And it's accelerating, so we have to get loose even with, your, with our monkey mind, slow down, inhale, and exhale and release. Two to three rounds with your own, in your own pace, with your own breath, your own breathing pattern. And when you are very new to this, come to the basic standing position. But keep your body scan alive. Always scan your body. Try to be more sloppy, you know, more relaxed. Always in the search for an even more comfortable way to stay in this way. And that's also something to learn that you become able to feel every microseconds how to release your unneeded muscles to release the tension built up over your lifespan and every day is building up of, on this mountain of tension within your body trapped in your body
tadpole, the tadpole problem. For those who are longer with this, of course, hugging the tree or standing like a tree, but not like a post. That's leading to stiffness. It's still always subtle, very, very subtle, but it's movement. Because you're really always trying to relax more and more. So long for today with this position, moving position. So I'm not getting stiff. like a spring, feathery spring. Lower hip to the front, slightly bent knees, slightly bent legs, evenly distributed weight on the soles of your body, of your feet. shoulders and normally when your inner smile is evolving by itself you are on the right path Slowly, slowly coming to the basic standing position. And now the question, how do I feel now? Without story, the feeling is really your ans answer. Nice. Entrance sequence. Always nice. Uh, this entrance sequence is really very good. It's already a whole session. It took 20 minutes. 10 to 20 minutes is okay. And you can perform it over and over and over and over again. It's always good. Then some forms you get, oh, okay, in the beginning you'll get bored anyway, but uh, uh, some of the forms are not so healthy to perform it over and over again. But this entrance sequence with the spaghetti arms or light shake, slight shaking, then awakening the chi and then standing like a tree, this sequence is already very good. And when you are on your own way with your own uh, meditation practice, that's all you really need. You know, if you want more, of course, look, have a look on the web page. There are uh, other forms, but not so much. 
you know, the, uh, the soft silken brocades, it's really the soft ones, then the harmony of the five seasons, changing seasons, which we will perform in a moment, and the meridian stretching exercises. Of course, there are some tiny forms also, but I don't need to mention them. Sometimes we are performing them, but just for fun. You know? And the Saturdays and also the Wednesdays, uh, one o'clock, of course, is also over three years three years for the 24 form young style Beijing form which was developed for the health of the masses and when we are performing it for health. It's just a tiny bit of Tai Chi of the whole martial arts developed for the health benefit and that's all we are performing. But as I mentioned, it, take, it takes one round, takes three years, and then another six years to get used to it that you are able to come to the inner smile. Really, one decade. So that's not, our goal is not to, to get ready with, uh, to know the form, you know, Chuck, I know it. No. Just in the first step, of course, there are some things to recognize and so forth, but then it's your body perception and kindness, mindfulness and serenity, if you like. Always coming back to your bodily feelings. That's the main, main direction. Okay, just, I think, just the harmony of the five changing seasons. Very slow. That's enough for today. Yes. If you like, perform it with me. <laughs> if you would like to come back to the Tai Chi form, you might have a look on the YouTube channel and look up the Parting the White Horse's main with the white crane spreads its wings in a loop. That's also, in, when you perform it in a loop, it's also the first step to the way I've mentioned just half a minute ago. But if you're new to this, just that these are five little forms in a row, don't shuffle them around, they have to be in this order. Just watch one round and then you can perform it along. And if you already know it, start with me. And every microsecond is the opportunity to relax even more while moving your body. Always try to release every unneeded muscle. And now, if you like, perform along.
And when you think everything is fine, get even slower. Really. Of course, synchronized with your breath, inhale. And exhale. Of course, without strain. You don't have to force slowness. But when you know that's the trick of the mon monkey mind, I want something new, 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 that's boring. Because your monkey mind is leading you away from your own body perception. Inhale, open, distributing the weight, exhale, inhale. Distributing the weight, open the hip joint. Distributing the weight, exhale, middle, and so forth. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Relax by, while inhaling and relax while exhaling. You get the direction. It's always relax, relax. One more round. Of course, how, how do I feel now, even if we are collecting our chi in a moment and closing this session? Or maybe what does this form is doing with me? Three times collecting the chi.
And now really the question, how do I feel now after 30 minutes? Strange, slow movements. Thank you for this session. As even I have to try to cultivate, yes, cultivate my own kindness for me, for you, for everything. Because when the, your living is getting rough, you're getting faster, and you are the first thing I am dropping is kindness. And that's not good. Because then you are dropping your relaxation, then the, your life is becoming stiff and everything is even worse, and then you are losing your mindfulness, your attention, your ability to concentrate and so forth. So yeah, I think the main the main angle, the main joint, is really this kindness. Kindness is the key for everything. And not the, not this shark smile, you know, or to paper over difficulties. No, it's really something to cultivate. You know, that's kindness from within, not to paper over problems. That's enough for today. I think cultivating kindness is a very good ending topic because it's never ending. Have a nice week, if you like, until Saturday, one o'clock. If you know it, Saturday, two o'clock, really, on, is the, the real thing happening on this meadow with Tai Chi, really, <laughs> with Tai Chi. Yes, and of course the edited videos and for, I think, for two weeks on Twitch. Have a nice day, nice week. Stay kind, mindful and calm. Be steady on your way. <laughs>